like it's game day now. That's right, man. <laughs> Test, 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 test. Oh, we're live again. We're going again, Al? I think we are, yeah. Okay, good. We're still here in the uh, Vapor Lounge. We haven't left. Uh, Kim's, Kim's still here with me. Yeah, we haven't left the Vapor Lounge yet. It's, it's quite uh, energized in here. It is, it is. Okay, well, now what we're going to do is we're going to go around the center here. What they've got is in the center is all these even vaporizers and stuff. So we're going to test some out and walk around and talk to the people about what they have here. And we're talking with... Evan. Evan, we're yeah, talking with Evan. From where? From Vapium. From Vapium. All right. So what What are, can you tell us about your product? What are you looking at right now? So you're looking at the Vapium Summit Plus, released two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. It's yeah. brand new. What can you tell me, tell me more about it? So pretty much we started with our model a year and a half ago. And uh, we're a Canadian company. Uh, and we started our model and we went on Reddit and found all the problems we had and then fixed all of them. <laughs> Nice. So we really listen to our consumers because we want them to have the best experience possible. So what's the difference over this one over the other one? Uh, you can use this while charging. It's water resistant. You can also use it with an app. We have an iPhone app and a Google app to control the... Yeah. Really? You can use your phone? Wow. Turn it up, turn it I can use my phone instead <laughs> of my fingers. Look at that. <laughs> so, so we're pretty high tech. Yeah. Will your phone load it? Yeah, will your phone? No, no, no. Will your phone load the? Well, will the phone load the cannabis in there? I'm not hey, yet. I'm getting there. If it maybe. turns it on and off, and it, you know, it turns the vol it turns the temperature up and down. I, I well, load it. Send a little drone, <laughs> a little uh, drone out there to deliver, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, just quickly, where can they find you? Online. Online, vapium.com. Okay, all right. And for your listeners, vapium.com slash users slash design will give you a discount. Vapium.com slash users slash design. There you go, people. Go to the website. Get yourself a discount on a vaporizer. And a nice looking one, too. Very sleek design. Nice black and green available as well. Nice looking uh, piece of equipment, really. Yeah, looks like they're giving out some free stuff here. Oh, okay. We got their flyer. It tells you all about it, eh? You guys have produced these. We run the majority of our factory in Hong Kong, see a lot of companies, they'll make a design, they send it over, and then after that they get it back and they have to send it back. We're extremely involved in our process, we use stainless steel, we use good quality because we want to make sure this lasts. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, hey, we're going to try one. Okay. Okay, Al's going to uh, try, try one here. It's pretty busy, you know. It's pretty busy in here, isn't it, Kim? It is very busy here, Al. It seems that uh, this is the only spot in this whole uh, expo so far that is really high charged, and the old kind of expo feel is definitely happening in the Vapor Lounge. Here, yes. I don't know if it's as big as it has been in the past, but it's a little bit different setup, and there's a there's a lot of different companies, and you know we're going to try. We'll be traveling around here and uh, seeing who's all here. Al's just loading up a, a vaporizer. Got some butt in there, Al. Good, good. Got got it loaded with button. It's uh, you know, it just it actually, you know, you look at this thing. No problem. You know, it, it's got a, it's pretty soft. You know, yeah, it's got far. a nice little grip on it. Yeah. The buttons are very easy access, and the finger, and it fits right into your finger. That is this. Uh, how 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 high of temperature does this thing go? Uh, 440 max, and 340 the least. That's Celsius. Yeah, it just takes a few seconds. Yeah, to get and you're looking at uh, four hours. Four hours of battery time. Yeah, and then you're going to add with that with our solar charger, which so makes, it, makes it eight. Solar charger. Solar, solar charger. charger. <laughs> Use it with your app. Bring your solar charger. I mean, this company is definitely top end. Now, just to help maybe branch out with your solar charger, can you charge phone it's usb the solar charger so you can use it for whatever you want as long as it takes a usb you see here it's just a regular usb yeah. plug nice very nice very nice we very nice over to try it. We, have a, we have a victim coming over to try it okay well we got we got uh, miss kelly here vapor hound vapor hound oh vapor hound i just vape I'm learning because i always was like a, a, a pipe smoker or a joint and now I have COPD, so I'm learning how to vape. 
vaporizing is good for you. Actually, I know, I know, I know a patient who uh, has one lung, and their um, their doctor actually recommends that uh, you know it has no problem with them consuming cannabis as a medicine, but if they're going to smoke, don't smoke, vaporize. Exactly, and that's what my doctor said as well. Well, not the current doctor, if she's listening, not you, but a different doctor. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I, th I think I just saw um, It looked pretty easy to load, eh? Was that easy it to was load? a magnetic clip. It just comes completely off the bottom. It stays tether attached to the main base. Uh, when, as soon as you hit the bowl, it's perfectly exposed. You put your flower in there, and when you put the lid back on, it's a magnetic seal. Uh, you push and go. All right, okay. Well, Miss Kelly has the vaporizer in her hand. It's got a red light flashing at you. What's that mean? What's the red light mean? Um, the red light is it getting ready. Okay. And once it turns green, you just go. You don't have to do anything. You just, you just haul, on. haul on it, she says. Well, that's good. No buttons to push. Pull it, like pull it like a pipe, he says. Nice and strong. You don't have to worry about it uh, uh, being pulling too strong. Yeah, so apparently. Yeah, yeah. Well, with some apparatuses, they tell you not to. They tell you to pull gently. That was giving it a try there. That's nice. What was that? It was very good. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, it was no. really easy. You'll feel it. Yeah. What's the temperature? Right now, four. Sorry, I just had to take a take a vape break here. Yeah, Al is checking out the machine now. It's basically smokeless. You don't get an exhale at all. No, no, I don't know exhale. No. I don't see an exhale of vapor. I can taste it, though. Yeah, you can taste it, and apparently you can feel it, but there is no exhale of vapor. It's very oh, interesting. <laughs> Keychain. Key hey, grab me one of those, will you? <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. It's not, that's not too big or anything. It shouldn't be hard at all, but <laughs> all right. exactly. we're all doing that. <laughs> okay, guys. Make our way along to the next spot. Hey, and gra grab one of these key here, fob. Super, thank you. Got some free stuff. Okay, we gotta watch the court here, guys. Oh, we're, uh, Miss Kelly's gonna enter a contest. Okay, we're gonna. Hey. Okay. Who, who is this? Oh, they're just right next to each other on the same table. I thought it was a table for. Uh, we, are, uh, we are with uh, Pimp, Pimp, no, it's Pimp Dreams. So what do you got here? Oh, hang on a second. Back. Little, little, little we music, a little musical interlude. Sorry. <laughs> back, back here with uh, with Pimp, Pimp Dreams, Pipe Dreams, located in Ajax. Right now we're in Toronto Convention Center. We'll be here all weekend long. Come check us out. We're having a great time through Lift Cannabis Expo. We're here with Tweed. We're, uh, we're having a great time through Pipe Dreams. We got all the vape accessories you'd like. We got a vape lounge here, and we got our shop. Come through. Have and enjoy your weekend. I see. I see the Pipe Dreams banners hanging above the uh, center here. Uh, so what do you got here in front of you? My man, I'm, I'm here. We're selling vapes through pipe, uh, pipe Dreams. I got a vape in my hand right now, the latest generation of the packs. Second generation, a lot of upgrades, a lot of cool features, quite interactive. You can actually play four g different uh, uh, interactive uh, games while you wait for it to heat up. 40 seconds to heat up and you're good to go. Easy, clean, you're having a good time. So like it's one of these games like Pac-Man or something? Honestly, it's pretty cool. It plays Simon Says with you. On the four, you. You turn it four times while you're waiting. It changes the colors. It tests you cognitively. 
when it changes the colors, and then it waits for you to respond. You have to remember the colors and tilt at the direction of the colors. You got four quarters. You got four quarters to choose from. It's pretty cool. You wait for it. I'm going to get this for my mom. This is something she'd like. Not me. I know I, my, the game is a little complicated for me, but a lot of people can enjoy. Come out. Check it out. We got a lot here. Volcanoes here. And uh, they got their new uh, handheld called Craft. Pretty cool. You got to check it out. Super, super, that's great, the vaporizer. My God, so now we have a vaporizer that you can play games with while you wait for it to charge. Um, yeah, well, sometimes we, we are impatient with these things, and it is nice to have something to focus on with those seconds pass at some particular moments. Nice, nice. Now, just one quick question. Does that, how, how, does that really wear down the battery on it? Or? Um, honestly, yeah. You know, we can't all be Elon Musk. Not everybody's in innovating the uh, the battery game, but uh, they're trying. This is second generation, and if you've seen, a lot of people have come here. I've had PAX 1 battery, they, you know, we're improving. It's yeah. got 45-minute life, and you might think but that, that that's a little bit, you know, yeah. low, but it's competing. I'm telling you, it is competing, you know? I, I don't know of any, any other vaporizer that you can play games on. No, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. That's a top seller for sure. You know, like, even though like, you can use it after it's warmed up, right? Oh, absolutely. Even, even yeah, in the, even in the midst of it, while you're smoking it, absolutely, yeah. If you want to take a break and let it vaporize a little more, often you know people say it's a quite a um, a pl pleasant pull that you, know, you don't get bombarded with smoke. It's very, you know, it's a nice smooth inhale. And when you exhale, the vapor is, is, is quite pleasant and it doesn't create a pungent smell like the typical method of smoking. You know, you you know you smoke marijuana, it's like a skunk, but this is a little more like it kind of tastes like buttery popcorn to me. Um, but otherwise. No. <laughs> Everybody loves it. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. Okay, that's great. Thanks, Thanks for talking. Pipe Dreams will be here all weekend long, Toronto, Toronto Metro Convention Center. Come check us out. And, and if you want, you can go to uh, lifestyleradio.ca, uh, Monday, whatever, and you'll be able, probably be able to get your listen to the recording. Oh, really? Like, it's, it's, it's live, but there'll be a podcast of it posted afterwards. Oh, cool, yeah. Yep, and that way more people can listen to it. Perfect, Share the knowledge. Guys, Cheers. Day. Cheers. Weekend, right? You too. Bye, Bye, okay. All right, we're going around the corner here. Going around the corner. Okay, so in front of us now, we've got a whole row of volcano vaporizers and a big, long, large crowd of people lined up with their uh, medication in hand, waiting to uh, dip it into those volcanoes and have people blow up some bags for them uh, so they can lounge. three or four people deep. Yes, it is. Quite so the lineup for the volcano. Way by there. I... Okay. As we go along here, we got... Yeah. We got a bunch of tables, lots of people hanging about. We got to squeeze down here. Get a little tight. A lot of people. We have to move around here. Oh, what do we got? So what do we got here, guys? You see? Any? Looks like it's just a spot with people sitting around. All right. You know, lots of banners on the wall. Uh, sponsors, Stoltz Pickle, lots of the makers of the uh, volcano. They've always been involved in uh, the vapor lounge in the past. To uh, try one of the, we're in front of a, sure. yeah, okay, all right, we're in front of the Ur, Ur Electric. Hang on, I gotta get 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 a card out here. <laughs> Busy spot. Hang on, we're, we're we're live on Lifestyle Radio. Hang on, I'm gonna slide around. Maybe maybe she doesn't speak normally to people, but we're gonna find out. Oh, bumping into people. It's like bumper cars in here. <laughs> there we go. You coming with me, Al? Yeah, he's still attached. We're still attached. Okay, I feel like I'm carrying on a purse. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you get involved in this. Okay, right. We're live on Lifestyle Radio. Hi. I, hi. I don't know whether you normally talk to people about your product, but we're going to talk to you if you don't mind. Dave. Dave. We're live on lifestyleradio.ca, and we're live on Spreaker. We're broadcasting live, and so we're going around the expo here talking to the different vendors about the about their products. Oh, awesome. That's great. Yeah. She's going to practice her spiel today, so go ahead. Okay. okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, so you tell us what booth we're at and uh, how the expo We're at the going. Pipe Dreams booth, remember. It's all we're at the, the Pipe, Pipe Dreams booth, and we're demonstrating the Eclectic rig here so 
What I learned today is that it does both concentrates and flowers. Both. Yeah. Nice. Which is pretty nice. exciting. Now is this is this something that I see you got a bunch of different numbers here. Now is that is this one here this running? Is a party one. So it has four four rigs a, a, a in one basically. So. So you have options. Yeah, you have options. So you, so you can do have more than one e now going. Exactly. And, and how many we got going now? We got three going on this one. We do. Now, uh, and you can set each one at individual temperatures. Yeah, exactly. Each one has their own temperature. Now, I, I haven't heard anything bad about these. You know, I, I don't have one, but because I use more herb versus and I smoke versus the, the vaporizing at the oils and that. So these things here, um, these are certain temperatures and all that that they go to that you recommend? Well, right now it's set at like 7, 11, or 6, 10, which is the perfect temperature to vaporize the product. Okay. So, so uh, let's see what else. So those, those are recommended temperatures that you guys would uh, suggest? Yeah. Looks, it, the machine actually looks like uh, your average router that you would see almost from old style cable TV. Remember we used to split the cable and to different rooms and you had that box with all the wires coming out of it. That's pretty much what it looks like, but they're all attached to e -nails. What's beautiful about the e is that you don't have to blow torch it. It's already preheated and you know it, it's convenient. Well, it, it probably gives you better accuracy too of your exactly. medication. When, you, when you're using a torch, you never know what your temperature is of your nail when you hit it with the dab, right? Exactly. Whereas with the electric e now, you can, you can do all that. Now, when it comes to these things, they have like automatic shut off. They say you walk away from it. They do. They yeah. automatic shut off for 10 minutes, 30 minutes. They do. You can set the time. Yeah. Which, which is a good safety feature to have. Absolutely. An automatic shut off is always a good thing to have. Uh, warranty? Three year warranty. Three year. Yeah. Like three, three, years. Years. Three, years. three years. Three years. Made in the U.S., so. I made in the U.S., so it's not something that's brought in from uh, China or some other country. Made in the U.S. Yeah. So it's easy. What about uh, when it comes to um, if you ever have to have any maintenance? Like, I don't know how if you ever have to have a maintenance with these things. What so, if it breaks under when it's under warranty? Any problems with shipping stuff? They say from here, like, is there a Canadian distributor? Where they could, if you, she's going, I, I, I don't I know. I have no clue. I, We're asking this poor girl questions. Well, she doesn't know the answer uh, to, and she's got this deer in the headlights book. Um, I think we should I'm quit sure there. Take care of you. There you go. I, I, I'm looking at maybe, maybe they don't have any. Because they just, it, product is so good that they just haven't had any warranty. Well, that's probably what it is, exactly. Al, it's never come up before because they've three, never broken. Three years. Like three, you don't get three years you warranty know? on stuff. I so, imagine yeah. a three year so warranty. So where can, oh. where can uh, people find uh, the product? Like as far as? It's, it's like um, online at, um, or also over there at the booth. Okay. All right. So there's a, a, a electric website. Er electric website. Let me see. I think I saw something. You see something with that? No. No. Okay. So, well, E-R-R. E-R-R. -E -E -R -R we we'll asked Dave, we'll ask Dave what his website is. Okay. Electric.com. There you go. There we go. We got there it. Go. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank All right, there you go. The Electric uh, E now. I've heard nothing about good things with it. Yeah, we're gonna go do some. We could be in here for hours, so let's run. That's right, correct. So they've got all different their the stuff they carry. Okay, yeah, you can yeah. come in, use your own products. And okay, let's make it back out to the floor. Okay, let's go out to the floor. We have some people who who we'd like to talk to, and Kim's gonna do some interviews. One-on-one uh, -on -one interviews with some people that she has lined up. Okay, we're just going over to back to the table to pick up Kelly. 
I believe. Okay. Music, the music's a little louder over here, eh? Well, we're right in front of the speakers, Al. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's much louder on this side, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and still, nothing nothing changed at the door, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just watching these people come in and out, it's, you know, hey, come on in. You know, you got your product. It's a BYOB. Yeah. Right, bring yep. your own buds. Bring, bring your, your own buds, okay. and uh, your equipment is all available here for you to consume in a method of your choice. Yeah, 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 exactly. You got your own meds. I know there's a sign out there that says that you have to be uh, legally allowed to, to possess. Yeah. It should be MMAR or MMPR. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, in the beginning, when this lounge first opened this morning, there was a table set up at the front, and they were asking people to fill out paperwork in order yeah. to come in. Uh, there was massive quite a, uh, and, and yes, yeah, and lineup. there was quite a row that was yeah. put up about that. So all of the people that did fill out paperwork, those papers were destroyed by one of the groups here, oh, cool. and great, uh, great. nobody's got any records. Good, 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 good stuff. Okay, let's make our way out to the, to the thing, and you know, even. Okay, we gotta go stop by a booth. I believe it's about some. Uh, Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll see. 605 yeah, we're 605. Hey, oh, just, just a second. It's just a quick, quick, quick little, little I just want to talk to Dion. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey. <laughs> we're live on the radio. You got a minute? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm here with uh, Dion of Pipe Dreams. Uh, I got, I'm sure you got some of that fancy... Uh, anniversary uh, glass in here. We do. This is the showcase behind you. We're showcasing the 20, 20 anniversary glass. We have some of the survival kits, our new rolling paper, and, and the last of the zombie edition paper. Yeah, zombie paper. Now, now you, we're gonna, I want you to tell uh, Kim and, and Al and the listeners here, what can you do with your bong that you can't do with anybody else's glass? Well, it, it's not what you can't, what you should do, but I have driven some nice three-inch nails into a two by four, right on the joint of the pipe, and I haven't seen anyone else really do this in the industry. You got this online, right? A video online. I certainly do. You can see it on YouTube, and it's the Chills Tough Schliff, T U F F, and then Schliff like the Germans. And, and then after after he, he actually nails, we watch him pounding these nails in. He takes the board and he flips it, and then you proceed to. Oh, I just hammered it. Al, I gave it everything I had, and if you look closely at the video, there's a long line of dents because we did a few takes to make this. We hammered a lot more nails than that too. Yeah, again, kids, don't try it at home. Things can happen. It is just 3.3 borosilicate glass from Shot Headquarters in Germany, so it's the best you can get. But all glass can break, but it's hard to with ours. It is. You have to look it up. You got to watch the video. We show it often at the Canada Days booth at uh, the uh, market in uh, Campbellford. People are interested. Yes, yes, yes. They say, "Hey, why buy a bong that you could break, and then you get by the time you're done, you could have bought one of these." Yes. Okay, Dion. It was great talking to you, man. We'll talk. We'll talk. Thank you, Al. All right, making our way up the up the aisles here. You know, there's some of those spontaneous. Uh, uh, interviews that happen just along the way. You want, you want to talk to Gun, uh, this lady? Yeah, let's let's make a pit stop here. <coughs> oh. oh, oh! So we have a young lady holding this fork down, but we are going to come back and talk to the Ganja Yoga lady. Yeah, for sure. Yes, for sure. We will make our way back here. All right, so well, we're coming up, going up the middle of the aisle here, stepping on toes. We're going by the Peace Natural Project this, this next. Is the, this is the pop-up yeah, center. Yeah, this is the pop-up center. Um, I actually had some involvement with these people here today, and uh, they are great people. Hi, we're live with Pace Radio, and yes, you're one of the ladies that's here, so you get to go on the air and talk to us about your exhibit here. I think I met you this morning. <laughs> you can see the deers in her eyes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I met you this morning. 
Uh, yes, uh, we, I brought somebody down. I think it was your first client of the day to go in and see yeah. the doctor. Uh, you have a nice, a cute little uh, whole health center, pop-up center here. And you're seeing patients and uh, you have a doctor in there and you're, you're doing it right up here and getting patients legal. Can you tell me about the center? Well, basically, uh, with Peace Naturals, what we're doing is we're providing access, ethical access to a doctor if they're struggling to uh, find a doctor to prescribe. Great, great. And your pop-up centre, that's in conjunction with another company that is independent, but you're working together hand-in-hand -hand for today's uh, expo and tomorrow's expo. Can you tell me a little bit about the uh, pop-up centre? Uh, so basically here we're just scheduling appointments and uh, it offers people an opportunity to um, see, a, see a physician um, and uh, have a conversation and see if they qualify to, to have uh, medical cannabis. Great, great. Uh, now the center, you're, you're, it's, it's a little boost that I'm looking at. Um, it's, it's completely enclosed, so you're, you're in private and you're actually speaking to an actual physician. What kind of uh, procedures go on behind the closed doors besides discussion? Is there equipment back there? Yeah, there's some, some great uh, high-tech equipment to help uh, uh, do what... You know what? I haven't actually been back there, to be honest. So oh, okay. Well, I see Matt Myrna over there. Maybe I should go and chat with him. Yeah, that's a good idea, Matt. All right. So that was, I'm sorry, what was your name? My name's Laura. That was Laura from Peace Naturals. We're going to wander over and talk to Matt. Hi, Matt. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you, hon? You're live on the radio. Oh, you're doing your lifestyle radio yes, show. Yes, we are. You're live on the air with the three, the two Al's and Kim. So nice. we're just talking to uh, another girl over there about your pop-up center here and stuff. Well, it's Is not she... my pop-up center. It's the Peace Naturals Wellness Center that's a pop-up clinic. So okay. It's not my clinic. Yeah, so I well. feel like my clinic in a kind of way because we did hand out compliment. You know, we had a complimentary physician here uh, assessing people for medical cannabis, which is pretty overwhelming if you think about it. Yeah, absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about the inside of the pop-up center that is working in conjunction with Peace Naturals here today? It's provided by MD Matrix. It's part of our uh, the company that's associated with Peace Naturals is called the Novo Health Net. They're the third largest physiotherapy clinic in can well rehabilitation services in Canada and with our partnership with them they have this and this is diagnostic technology at its finest this isn't Skype this is Bluetooth technology full biometrics so we do your heart your blood pressure we can do an ultrasound on you in there um, the technology that we employ is leading edge it's safe and secure, so we web we use an internet contact that goes out, a secure line. We also have a clinician here, and the clinician reviews everything with you. They take you into the little booth afterwards, and they help the doctor and you navigate the system. Excellent, excellent. So this is... Yeah, this is uh, two separate companies, basically. Peace Naturals is working with the, the medical company, so it is a separate entity. Um, now, Peace Naturals is sponsoring this. Is there any obligations to sign with Peace Naturals if anybody uses the service this weekend? Well, firstly, Peace Nat it's a partnership. Uh, Novo is in partnership with Peace, so that means they are our business partner. They are um, planning to release... Peace Naturals whole health centers across Canada, and we're going to rebrand their clinic. It's called Novo. It'll be called the Peace Naturals whole health center, and we look forward to offering this type of services. Are we saying today, hey, you have to sign up with Peace Naturals? No, we're not. We recognize that that's also unethical of us, so we've done two ethical things here. The first ethical thing is, of course, providing the OHIP service, and that is what should be done. There should never, ever be a charge for your medical document, and that is what I continue to stand by. The Peace Naturals Wellness Center did that today. Secondly, we don't think you should be shoehorned into a dis uh, licensed producer that you don't want to be shoehorned into, and we know that's going on in the industry also. So we are proud to say that, you know, Ready Cam Farm, some of the other people that are around our size that are in our industry association that have the morals and ethics that have come out of the MMAR program and have stepped up and have made it into the uh, MMPR, 
that we're, well, I'm prepared to say, you know, here's some other organizations that are pretty good, but you got to investigate them on your own and it's due diligence on their part. That said, I prefer the Peace Natural. I think our Peace Naturals product is stellar. I think our master grower has 30 years experience from Vancouver Island. I think he's unreal. I think he's just absolutely a uh, genius of a grower. And I think if you uh, have a chance to medicate with the Peace Naturals product, that you're also, you're gonna be, you're not gonna go anywhere else. Right, right. So it's once uh, once you get in there and you try the product, you're not going to want to go anywhere else. And I, the pricing scheme that Peace Naturals has is very, very uh, uh, good as well. It's definitely affordable in terms of investing to the what's going on in the in the marketplace. We have a strain that comes in at four dollars fifty cents. It's a small flower strain, so it's popcorn bud, as you guys like to refer to it as. I do too. Uh, but it's small flower cannabis. It came in at 19% recently, and we're letting that go, and it's, it's $4.50, and that's a great price. Uh, Can't argue with that. Right. Uh, we have strains that are, that are priced at $6, so you can medicate with our cannabis varieties for $6 routinely. And these are 18% THC. We do full terpene profiles. We do cannabinoid profiles, so we know exactly what you're getting, so it's all certified, of course, through Health Canada. And then at the higher end of our price range, and I mean higher end, we're charging uh, $8.50. That's your higher end? That's the highest end of our product, is $8.50. Wow, well, that's, that's, that's uh, very appetizing indeed. Well, through our services, it's easier for us. We can, you know, by sending it to you in the mail, it's easier and more affordable for us to do that. There's no... Uh, overhead in terms of that like a brick and mortar outlet so we can save a couple of bucks there by mailing it to you and then you pass that savings on to the patient which is a fabulous thing to do it's exactly what we try and do well it's great things here Matt, Matt for sure um, I was able to experience the pop-up center myself and I look forward to seeing these happening more and more in some of the smaller communities and hopefully bringing uh, one of these centers to the north uh, where there are no doctors available that are even educated on, on the cannabis as a medicine, and this is a much-needed service in the north for sure. Well, we would like to bring the mobile pop-up clinic into a lot of those types of communities. The also thing is, this is not just for medical cannabis. This is a full mobile clinic, so we recognize, at least I do, that there are clinic, the communities that are underserviced by physicians, and a service like this, the Ontario government should definitely begin looking into, because... We, you, we can bring it in there, we can brand it up and just use OHIP services and you got the flu, you hurt your ankle, something where the doctor needs, hey, I, I got a rash, is this bad, should I go to the hospital? And, and it's a full walk-in clinic. This isn't a medical cannabis clinic, this is a full walk-in clinic. You have the flu, you can go here. This is, so it's dramatically different than what is actually being uh, offered by other people businesses. Yes, absolutely. Uh, astounding te uh, technology, state-of-the-art technology, Bluetooth on site, as you said, they can even perform an ultrasound in this little booth. Amazing technology. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing more things like this and, and happening in more areas around the city. Well, I, like I said, we do too. It's, um, you know, we'd like to bring it out more and more as we go. We're still trying to figure it out ourselves. It's, 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 very new, so what, that's what I think people should expect from me. That's, that's amazing things. And with your history and the movement, Matt, um, now with your move over to Peace Naturals and their policies on things, I can see Peace Naturals going places. And it's, it's, a, it's refreshing to see a company that's willing to work with the community and work with the public for the public's just best uh, uh, interest in general health and, and overall, not just in the cannabis movement. I think so, and I appreciate those comments, and you, I should let you guys get on your way. But. Uh, absolutely. Thanks very much for speaking with us today. That was Matt Myrna from Peace Naturals. Thank you. And we're carrying on. And we're carrying on, and I think I'm looking at Planet Paradise across the way, and I'm looking for my cohort in crime. There he is. How you doing, Al? All right, good, good, good. I'm still here. Okay, we're going to make our way. Good long conversation there with Matt about Peace Naturals. 
Just making our way along. I think uh, I'm looking for a certain booth. Keep following. Yeah, yeah. Keep coming. Keep following me, Al. Where's, uh, oh, did we lost. Did we lose Kim? Oh, Kim. Oh, we did. We got to go back and find her. Yeah, that happens too. Oh, don't get tied up, man. Don't get tied up. <laughs> there she is. Okay. <laughs> we found, we found. Oh, she she had her glasses on. She got lost. We found her. Okay. That's where I'm headed. Okay. I think they're over about two aisles, maybe three. I'm not saying anything. You're not saying anything. Okay, for well, those who just maybe just tuned in, we're at the uh, Left Expo at uh, Metro Toronto Convention Center in downtown Toronto. Uh, there's 130 vendors here. There's speakers. Uh, they're doing demonstrations, cooking, and I believe concentrate demonstrations, but I could be wrong there. Okay, let's... They got the vapor lounge, as we mentioned earlier. Oh, they got some pretty neat booths. Oh, here we are. We got the, we got the right aisle this time. We're good. Okay. Philosophy. We are we are making our way here. Well, hang on. We got we're gonna almost got wrapped up there. I'm always yeah, no problem, man. Okay. Ah, oh, there he is. We found him. We found the man I'm looking for. Okay. Here we go. Come on. We found we. You got time? Okay. We want to come back. Okay. We'll we'll we'll. Okay, we'll make our way over to you. Had, Kim is with us still. She's behind us. Over to. Find, uh, yeah, there's a couple of people here that I wanted to find. I've got Dana Larson and I've got John Bergato. Let's go we'll make our way over this way. Oh, there's, there's a, one of our recent guests on the show right here. We're walking by. Uh, hi, guys. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Hi, Mike. Hey, what's going on? Uh, we're walking around talking to people, yeah, broadcasting live. Chat. That's right, exactly. We're here with uh, Mike North and Cindy. Of, yes. Of uh, the Smoker Guides. We yes. had Mike on as a guest on the show recently. Kim? Yes, we did. Nice, nice to, to meet you in person. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All day long, it's been like that. Everybody meeting for the first time. It's It's been so hard. I've been here since 10 o'clock this morning, and I think we've seen 30% of it. I can't get through three boots with... You know, surprised to see some friends from Amsterdam here. Greenhouse is representing. We've got we've got our boys from Flight Lab over here from down in, down south of the border. They do a lot of the shows, all the High Times Cups and stuff like that. Great vaporizers over. You got to check those guys out. They got amazing products. Um, but yeah, you know, and seeing the LPs here, seeing the dispensaries, you know, that have just gone through the shit they've gone through this week. You see uh, Amy over there. She was gonna do her can do booth. She said, screw this. She set up and she's just selling shirts, save our dispensaries, you know what I mean? But it's all in the same place and everybody's enjoying it. So, I mean, it yeah. just goes to show that we can all come yeah. together and, and, and we, can, we can coexist, you know, and we can, exactly. make, we can make a, a exactly. nice world in this, or a nice yeah. country for all of us to enjoy this wonderful med medical plant that we have, you know? So, the, uh, getting lots of footage, like say, you want to cover it? Yeah. 30%. I think it, you'll get it all covered before the day's I think so. We're, we're set up over with the. the um, I saw your logo on a, on a banner back, back. That's right. That's our JW Marisuticals from out BC. They work, again, similar to us on a different parallel, more along the lines of products. They help companies with everything from packaging to product, uh, run compassion clubs. They also do Dab Canada, a few other things as well. So they're very involved in the community out west. And, they reached out to us, uh, seeing what we're doing here in Ontario to connect and basically, again, make another connection and, and coast to coast, you know, um, working together and yeah. community oriented, community oriented people. You no, know, networking. Absolutely, that's that's yes. Right. Yeah. yes. Great place to network oh, here, that's for big sure. Time. Big time. That's, how, that's how I found it during the Tr Treating Yourself Expo, it was the four years it ran. The same thing, it was networking and getting to meet the people you would see online only. Like, actually, all like all of us, we've met, you know, yes. we've met. But I had only met Al, Al from Lifestyle Radio, uh, online, until here. Kim, the same thing. You know, Kim's been with the Base Radio Show for 
Well, almost a year. Almost a year now. Almost a year. Yeah, yeah. first day. Yeah, 10 months yeah. now. So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Living way up north with all the mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no mosquitoes yet. We're just Get getting into black fly yeah. season now. Oh, yeah. I guess you yeah. Already, and we're yeah. Crazy. Uh, my granddaughter came. My my son took my granddaughter uh, fishing. Thirty minutes, yeah. just covered. Just the back of her neck and around here is just covered. We were at the Come Together Festival last weekend, which is a great, great event. But as soon as that sun started going down, you had the, the there's about an hour that if you didn't get in front of a fire with lots of smoke, you were in trouble for yeah. sure. Yeah. The bewitching hour, and after that, it was good. All right, so uh, where can people find the footage of the Left Expo when they're done? As always, check us out on smokersguide.com. We're on YouTube and, of course, canabroadcasting.com where you can see all the wonderful people that work with us to make this Smoker's Guide thing happen. And uh, you'll see those personalities up there, too. There you go. Good stuff. All right, well, we'll let you guys get on your way. Hopefully, you can see the rest of the show. We'll <laughs> All right. Well, that was good. Good to meet Mike here on the floor. One another one of those spontaneous interviews, which I'm sure we'll come up with many more before the day's out. Right. This is Al from Pace Radio, and I do the 420 radio show. Oh, okay. So we got Pace and 420. Yep. And this is Kim, uh, one of Al's co-hosts. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You guys are all here. They're all from my cell radio. Oh, wrong oh. one. Oh. Wrong one. How did that get in there? <laughs> there we go. So you, had some, you, said you, you said in your email you had something to show us. Yeah, we have a special gift. And if you guys want to, our president is here all the way from Japan if you okay. want to chat with him Absolutely. for a little bit. All Absolutely. Right. All right. We're gonna, you going to do the interview, Al? No, no. Yeah, yeah. We'll do this together. Can we yeah. sit for a minute? Yeah, of course. Right? Sure. Well, look at that. We interrupted their lunch. Okay, we're going to get settled. Or are we going to actually sit? We're sitting down at a table in one of the booths. <laughs> there we go. And they're, and they're having lunch. Okay. Our lunch. We could have had lunch with you. Are these connected? Oh, thank you. Uh, no, oh, I see what's going on. You're, 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 your chair is sitting on my chair. There we go. I got it separated. Oh, all right. Oh, look at that. Hey, we even got the lights on us. Yes, we do. So... Explain to me uh, what you have, what your product is, and uh, what's so special about about it and all that. We have, uh, we specialize, we're at Chikamasa okay. at the Lift Expo. I haven't said more than once. Oh. <laughs> hey, you never know. Uh, we specialize in trimming scissors. What's so special about ours is they don't clog up. They're very, very nice on the hand, so you're not going to get fatigued. You're not going to have to soak them in alcohol for, you know, like an hour to get all the resin off. It wipes off really clean and nice. I should get down here with the mic closer to my mouth. Get pictures of them. Good for you on your hands, eh? Not where you got little wee holes where you got to get your... I've actually done some trimming with something similar to this. Uh, yeah, just at a, at a friend's place. They had some. Um, so you have different different types for, for different needs and different people like different things. These are pruning things. I, I like these kind here. Yeah, yeah that's the kind I like because, you know, they're, just, they're easy on the hand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Hi. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good, good. Um, tell us a little bit more about your products. Is it here? Where is it made? Okay, okay. Uh, we are from uh, Osaka, Japan, and um, we came here on Friday. And uh, come all the way from Japan. Oh to, yes, from Japan to here. Yep. And wow. uh, we are based on Osaka, Japan, again. And uh, we have been manufacturing scissors since 1910. So which is it's over 110 years old now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So it's now. Oh, you, you, know, you see, I get all artistic. They're different. Come with different sizes. Yep. Yes. Is it now you got. Is there certain scissors that are made, I guess, for certain uh, procedures, certain jobs? Right. Um, it's uh, for the trees, uh, pruning, uh, trimming, uh, like picking the fruits, vegetables. We all we have over 150 different kind of scissors yeah. right now. Yes. Do you think they ever make a pair of scissors that the tricones don't stick to? 
<laughs> you know, when you're trimming, right? It all, it all builds up. You get all that hash, right? <laughs> you see, that's a good part, too, because that's where you go like this on the way home. You know, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You stick it in your mouth, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the Cheetos, when you eat hot Cheetos, you got that residue. Same thing. It's that last little bit that's the best. Yes, exactly, exactly. See the best for last yeah. <laughs> sometimes, eh? You, you, you've uh, designed this yourself? Uh, yes, we manufacture them, we design them, and uh, yes, we start from the beginning, from a scrap. Is, is the cannabis market where you guys went, or did you start with other plant matter that you can trim and stuff? Um, well, in Japan, the cannabis is illegal, so yeah. nobody grows there. So, um, it's illegal here in Canada too. Oh, is it? Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> heard? Haven't you heard? California, so we have a little bit worse. I'm from Japan, so well. But um, in Japan, a lot of people use that for uh, vineyard, the table grapes, because the table grapes get so sticky, because the resin build up so much, and then they have to use it for like cleaning, and then you know. Kind of same deal with uh, cannabis too. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's sticky. Yes, it was always very, very sticky. That's why I asked that question. <laughs> do you do, uh, where where is cannabis going uh, at home? I mean, is it is there any talk about about legalization or allowing medical? In Japan, yes, nope. <laughs> whatsoever. Right? Nope. But isn't it a sacrament in some in in prayer and stuff like that in the Orient? Sacrament? Like, uh, like religious. Religious. Oh, I never heard about it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. What's your, what's your, what's the punishment over there? Well, prison. Prison. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, you, you mentioned you're from California, yeah. right? So here we're sitting here at a table with a guy who prison is the only option if you get caught with cannabis. And, and another person from California where you guys are about to vote for legalization. Yeah, it's on the ballot this year, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and again, haven't you heard? It's illegal here too. Yeah, it's yeah, it is illegal here too. <laughs> it is. Now, uh, as far as your products, um, okay, obviously it's available here at the Left Expo, but where else is it available? Um, the Lumbridge Wholesale Supply is our distribution distribution company, so you could purchase our products from from there. From there, so would it be also be maybe found in grocery stores? I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Right now, just we're exclusive in Rambridge. Yeah. But one day, we'll get there. We'll get You're just coming into Canada now? Yeah. This is your first event? Yes, it is. Can I ask your opinion? What are you thinking about what's going on here in Toronto specifically? I mean, we've had a lot of excitement the last couple of days here, as I'm sure you're hearing. Um, what do you think about that? I mean, you're here, you're here with, a, with a, a scissor company at a cannabis expo in a town where we're supposed to be the mecca of cannabis and they just shut down what 43 it was it was 40 43 that they yeah really wow wow i know there was a list of 43 online the last number i saw was 43 77 were issued they went after 43 and they're not going to stop until it's done uh, but I'm, I'm curious of you, what your opinions are, being from California and, and another country. Especially those potential customers. Yes. I mean, we are potential customers. Yeah. Is that a comment on that? Or? I yeah. just think it's ridiculous that, you know, the government any, everywhere is trying to shut down a plant. Yeah. Something that I can grow mint in my backyard if I want right. to. Why can't I grow cannabis? Yeah. What is the difference? I, I don't see it. I That line is very kind of gray for me and I feel like a lot of people need to kind of open their minds and definitely up higher up they need to start opening their minds but it's all very political it's very political it's right very now political but it's money it's, driven it's money driven it's political I mean look at this mm -hmm. uh, the last time I came down here uh, it was more of a party atmosphere at the treating yourself uh, I don't know if you've been to any other expos no I haven't um, you know everybody was hanging around medicating and 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 there was a lot of glass around there was they had a, a cup and 
all kinds of things like that. Uh, music, and this is very commercial. Uh, it's, a, it's exactly what I was expecting. It's a little bit somber because of the last two days, but uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting rest of the year. Yes, oh yeah, it will be. Um, as far as your product, um, is there any types of special metals or anything like that? You know, I know when it comes to uh, heating things, people always look for the titanium. I don't know whether is that is a concern when it comes to making scissors? Well, um, for our uh, stand-up company, uh, we like to use the Japanese, uh, Japanese special made for Chikamasa, carbon steel. And uh, we've been proud to, you know, make this product to, you know, having this in the market. Yes. And people are really happy about our product, too. The quality. Do, do, uh, do scissors uh, self-sharpen? Well, um, no. Do scissors self-sharpen? <laughs> well, but I've never seemed to have to sharpen my trim scissors. Yeah, I, now, now that you've mentioned it, neither have I. I they're, uh, they stay sharp a long time? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. does. Um, are they easy to sharpen up? Um, as a manufacturer, I don't recommend to do that because one thing is a lot of people get, you know, sharpened long side and then get screwed. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, Kim, you got any questions? Kim's still here with us. Yeah, I'm still kind of just, I'm kind of in the background over here just listening to this whole thing. The scissors actually are quite attractive. I'd like to add that in from a woman's point of view. Um, they're attractive. They're nice looking. They're easy to hold. And the grip is extremely comfortable. I checked out a couple of pairs on that display table next to me. And they've even got some like pretty ones with, you know, white flower, white ones with little pink flowers on them and such for women. Uh, if you're outside of the industry at all and just looking for a really good pair of sharp scissors that are going to last you a long time. Yeah, yeah, super. They did. Very much. Thank you for the email. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Look at that scissors. Oh, <laughs> 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 scissors. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. It's, it's good to meet you and, and, and uh, thank you for coming to Canada all the way from Japan. Thank you very much, sir. And there we go. That's that's my card. This gives you his website address, or you can write on the back. Yeah. You want to write on it right there. Sure. Got a pen right there. Just right there you go. You can write your contact information on there, and then that way you guys can keep in touch. Have a he'll invite you to the 420 radio show, Friday nights live. Friday nights. Seven till nine. Talk scissors. Those are some. Hey, you've got, you've got pink scissors. Pink scissors with little designs on them, right? Purple scissors, orange scissors, pruners. Looks that they got a saw there too, eh? It's a giant, giant pruning saw. What's with this? Uh, like we were just talking scissors. You guys got some saber rattling saw here too. What's, what's with this? Like, I guess you're, you're trimming more than just cannabis. <laughs> like like uh, around the dinner table. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Okay, we move on. We're going to take a break. We're going to listen to some music for a while. No, we're going to just let people listen to whatever comes up. Okay, all right. Let people listen to what they come up. Sounds good. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. We're live at... Uh, the uh, Metro Toronto Convention Center Lifestyle, uh, not Lifestyle, the Lyft Can uh, Cannabis Expo. <laughs> I'll get it out. Time to medicate.